having avocado toast because I was feeling slightly uninspired as to what to make plus I haven't had this in a while mm -hmm. this with the smoked salmon that has a little bit of garlic pepper is just I've been listening to Emma Gannon's Skillshare class on finding fulfillment using pivots to power your creative career. The whole course is basically about giving tools and advice on taking creative pivots, which I feel like really resonates with where I'm at right now in my life. Lately, I've been feeling a bit lost in my career, what my next steps should be. So I really enjoy doing the journal exercises, like identifying my core values, values to find my why as well as naming my non-negotiables. The Skillshare has a huge range of classes led by industry pros that you can take to turn your passion to paycheck or help your side business come to life. Whether it's brushing up on your tangible skills like video editing, illustration, or maybe you need help with your productivity or even learning how to open an Etsy shop. There is so much range and definitely something for everyone. So if you're looking to start something new for the new year, I highly recommend getting on Skillshare. You guys can get access to the full range of classes for free for one month if you use the link in my description. And the first 500 of you will get access to that. So be quick and I hope you enjoy. Guys, I'm very, very excited because I got my dream bookcase. So it's the design within reach bookcase tower thing. I don't know. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about, but oh my God, I've wanted it for so long. But because I live in a small studio, I've been trying to take my time and really be intentional with how I furnish and decorate it. But I've been wanting this for a long time, like even since I was at my old place. So I thought that I would just treat myself, pull the trigger and yeah, I'm so excited. Let's build. This is the before. I am slightly sad to have to say goodbye to my book stacks because I do actually like how they look, but unfortunately they take up a lot of space and living in New York, I don't really have, so yeah.
right now I'm trying to organize all of my books. I'm still deciding whether or not I want to organize by author, color, or category, but I'm thinking category slash genre just makes the most sense for me in terms of practicality. Like if I want to read nonfiction, fantasy, romance, lit fic, it'll all just look cohesive and be easy to find. I'm looking at all of my books and my shelf and the math is not mathing. I don't think that they're all going to fit. So now I'm wondering if I may have to unhaul or donate some of them, which honestly really pains me because I want to be one of those girlies who has like shelves and shelves of books. But unfortunately, being here in New York, I don't really have the luxury space to do that. I don't know. It's like on one hand, I dream of having a home library one day filled with hundreds of books because I don't know. I feel like a person's personality really shines through their book collection. But on the other end, I am trying to be a bit more minimalistic and intentional about my belongings. Like, I know that there's a handful of books that I did not enjoy reading, will probably never reread. And honestly, there are a few books that I haven't got around to reading yet. But just knowing myself now and how my taste has changed, I probably won't ever get around to reading them. So it's like, why hold on to them and let them collect dust when they could hopefully go to a better home where they could be well loved and used. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to organize and declutter. I put on a sweater because it's so cold in my apartment. up recently. The first one I'm currently reading is One for My Enemy by Olive Blake. This is a Romeo and Juliet retelling based in New York City. It has witches and drug lords and if you guys remember I really loved These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong which is also a Romeo and Juliet retelling. I don't know. Apparently I just like to be hurt when I read because I'm really trying to find that feeling again. I'm about like 200 pages in and so far it's really good you actually follow two couples instead of just one but i'm not sure if it's going to be like a five star read again regardless her writing is just so beautiful and then speaking of miss chloe gong i got her three latest books the first one is foul lady fortune this is a spin-off duology that takes place after our violent ends it follows rosalind who is in the first two books and this new guy named Orion. I believe they're like spies and assassins who have to go undercover. There's like a fake dating or fake marriage trope, I believe. So yeah, I'm really excited to read this. I also got the novella, which I believe follows the cast from the original duology. So I'm ready to just eat it up. Finally, uh, Valheart Huntsman. This only came out a few months ago and honestly I've been putting off reading this duology until this came out because I have a horrible memory and I knew that if I read the first book I would just forget everything and have to reread it which is not terrible but I'm also quite impatient and just want to know what happens. So now I have all three and I'm just so ready to binge these in 2024. I'm just so excited to go back to this world. Also, can we just take a moment to appreciate my Waterstone editions because look, she's stunning. And also I paid a pretty penny for the shipping. Obsessed.
got my first Christmas tree. Oh my god, she's so cute. She is real because I don't have space to store a fake tree. And even though it's like midnight, I do want to take some time to decorate her. decorate my tree i just wanted to pop in to wish everyone a merry christmas and happy holidays today is actually christmas when i'm recording this and i'm spending it alone with sola i know that the holidays can be a hard time for some people so i'm sending some extra love to those of you who have difficult relationships with your families those of you who have lost a loved one or are going through a breakup or just anyone who's in a bad place be gentle on yourself and know that it's okay if all you do today is just survive and get through the day. You've got this, you're not alone, and I love you all so, so much. I'll stop being a cheesy emotional cancer. So, back to the video.